Hi you guys. So I wanted to share my opinions and my review of the Savvy Mineral Brush Set. So um, I have been using mineral foundation and makeup for um, just a few months, not a whole lot. Um, and I haven't ever, I am like your normal mom, your normal, like not super girly girl. So uh, the makeup that I have on that you guys can kind of see, I know the light's pretty bright. Um, sorry about that, but it's what I have. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of makeup on. I don't wear a lot of makeup. My makeup takes me like five to 10 minutes. I have two boys that are toddlers. I am pregnant and about to have our, a little girl, our third child. Um, I don't have a lot of time to just sit around and do makeup. And I really don't care that much. I mean, I totally, I have some friends that are amazing makeup artists and they love playing with it and they love all kinds of stuff, like all of that <laughs> type of stuff and they do great and they love it and I love to see their pictures of stuff that they do because they're fabulous. So, um, I'm moving some stuff around so I have room to set this down. So, it comes with these little, the two zippers. So, I love that it is, this is beautiful material by the way it is beautiful it is durable um i've been using this brush set for a couple of weeks and um, i really wanted to give myself time to use it before i gave any sort of review over it so i was very excited to get it in and um, honestly after i started using it i wasn't that excited about using it but i have come around and i have seen some really awesome things so this is uh just what i've seen from me using my makeup the way i use it like i said which is really super simple and normal everyday makeup so it opens up all the way and it has this foundation brush and a veil brush this is the savvy essentials brush set and then it has this zipper pocket right here and and uh, then on the back side, you have a blush brush, a blending brush, and an eyeshadow brush. And this lovely hot pink material, it's just fabulous. So, all right, before I was using mineral foundation, I was actually ordering powder from Mary Kay, um, and the blush that is a powder from Mary Kay as well. And so I had this foundation brush, and it's you know very it's like what we get at the stores and it's very a normal foundation brush right so um it's like flexible it bends easily it's big and thick and um all kinds of stuff and then and um, so I, even after i am using i started using the mineral foundation um, I started buying it when it was Sweet Savvy Minerals by Melissa Pepping and then this last summer she sold to Young Living so now I'm just able to order it when I order everything else I order from Young Living which is great but this foundation brush I was like what on earth <laughs> because it's short um, it's still rounded but it's not very, it's not as thick, and it's not extremely flexible. Like, sorry, I still have some makeup on there. I should have cleaned it, but I didn't. Um, so just comparison-wise, like, it's a lot smaller. And the flexibility of it not picking up and being able to swipe across, that was, that was the biggest thing for me that I'm like, I just don't know if I like. Which, by the way, all of the brushes have what it's used for. I don't know if you can if it'll focus probably not but they all have like the says foundation and they all have their uses on them so I was not super impressed and I was a little worried and a little upset about this foundation brush to start with and um, <clears throat> there is a misting spray but I have not bought that yet I have lavaderm and I've just been using it because it is a good clean spray it is from Young Living as well, and I know it's good for my skin. So that's just what I've been using until I order my misting spray, which will probably go in my next order. <laughs> and so you, I'm not going to spray it on there because I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> but you just, 
spray it on there and I normally spray twice on my foundation brush so I make sure it gets on there and this is a very key point right here you guys when you're using it swipe it off like swipe the top really wet layer off and then it's just damp and then you're able to pick up your mineral makeup and swirl it and get really good coverage I only after I learned how to use this because at first I was missing this step and so I had a really wet brush going into my mineral makeup and then it was like not moving around a whole lot it went on super thick and I just wasn't impressed <laughs> I thought this can't be right which I was right it wasn't right so I um, watched a few more videos and learned a little bit more and you wipe it off and then you're able to swirl it around and get a really good coverage. I only have to pick up makeup like two, maybe three times with my foundation brush to get a good coverage. And um, one thing that I do, this is not a part of the brush set. This is just a sponge from my local store. And um, I use my foundation on this dry because it's kind of got that damp feel to it anyways. Um, so I don't spray anything on this and I pick up foundation and this is what I use underneath my eyes and things to conceal. So that goes in my little uh, zipper pocket up there. So I love that. Um, okay. The next brush is the veil for the, you know, to at the end of it. I actually don't have a veil. I haven't bought it yet. It's called Diamond Dust. So I haven't used this yet, um, but it is very soft and it's very flexible. Like you can see it move. It, so it would be perfect. I can just imagine how wonderful that would be if you use veils or um, sealers or whatever they're called. So, okay, next is the blush brush. I just wanna show you guys, again, this is my Mary Kay brush and my Savvy brush. And um, look at the difference. Like, this Mary Kay brush is so much thicker, um, like, width-wise. This is a lot more flat and this is, it's bigger. Um, but one of the big things about it is like this, it just kind of, it doesn't have much of an angle. It's just kind of flat. And this has more of an angle to it. And so, um, again, with, I use this with my concealer, or not my concealer, but my um, bronzer and my blush. And if I do any highlighting, I use this one too because I haven't bought any of the other brushes yet. So I just spray this as well and dust it off. And then I pick up my minerals like on that flat side and then just use that flat side when I'm applying it. And I love it. Um, I use a lot less makeup when doing this and get even better coverage than when I was using my other brushes. So um, I am so thoroughly impressed. The eyeshadow brushes, okay, here are the two that I were using. One of them is Mary Kay, one of them is just from Walmart. Um, they're pretty flexible, like this one's super flexible. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to compare these two. The length is kind of the same, it's about the same. Um, but the width, again... This one's a lot fluffier. This one is a lot flatter. It also doesn't have as much bend to it. But I have found that with the mineral eyeshadow, um, it picks it up. I haven't used, I haven't bought mineral eyeshadow yet, but I have used my bronzer and my blush as eyeshadows before, and I've used this, and it was amazing. I have also used my bronzer and my blush as eyeshadows before I had the Savvy brushes and I've used one of my other ones and it seemed to use a lot more. When I used this brush, the eyeshadow brush from Savvy, I love it. It only picks up a little bit and it gives me a great coverage. So I'm super excited about that. There's also a blending brush, you guys. I am not an eyeshadow blender. I really don't know how to do that, so I'm not gonna be able to give you much of a review on the blending brush. Um, it, again, I imagine that another brush would be a lot thicker because this one isn't very thick. This one does have a lot of flexibility to it. I have used it, have used this brush um, when I've put on 
some eyeshadows and have done a little different coloring for Christmas parties and stuff like that and I've blended it in. Again, I don't do that very often so I'm not even sure if I was doing that properly, but there you have it. There are other brushes that you can buy separately. Those are just the ones that come in the essential brush set and that's all I've ordered so far. I love it. Um, I'm going to have to go back and look and see if they have an angled brush, um, which I'm sure they do because I'm just using my old angled brush still. And um, at first I really wasn't super impressed, but I love these brushes now. And I love how long it is helping my makeup to last me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review from this just plain old simple mama. I'm not a makeup artist. I do not do full faces, makeups, and all kinds of stuff every day. Um, I only use a little bit of bronzer, and I'm especially using it right now because I am pregnant, and I get pregnant in my face, and then all my cheekbones disappear, and I just have this big, huge face. So I'm loving having the bronzer right now. Um, that's a, that's all I have for you guys. So I want you to comment. I want to hear from you. Have you used this brush set? What do you think about it? Um, if you haven't ever heard of this and you want to know more, comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can on all of those things and I can help hook you up, y'all. I am in love. I am not, like I said, I'm not like a googly makeup person, but Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's so light, and this makeup lasts forever. You guys, I'm a mom. I already told you about my two crazy boys. They waller, they mess, I chase, they're outside, they touch my face. I don't like that. <laughs> but they do. And this makeup lasts. So I love it. It is an investment, and it has paid off. My last set, my last foundation lasted me two, maybe three months. And that's just before I got my brush set. So I was using the stuff that was using a whole lot more of my makeup. So I'm so excited to see how long that my foundation and stuff lasts me now with this amazing brush set. So you guys have a great day and I look forward to chatting with you below in the comments.